Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Representative George Santos and how the saga of Representative Santos has come to a close along with his time in Congress. We are also going to talk about uh, some of the downstream effects from this that I, I'm not sure a lot of people want to acknowledge. Uh, okay. So, if you have missed the news, Santos was expelled from Congress today by a vote of 311 to 314, so a relatively decisive vote. This is only the sixth time in U.S. history this has occurred. It shrinks the Republican majority from 221 down to 213. So... That's the, the basic coverage. The Democratic Party feels that his former seat is going to be an easy pickup. Now, Santos didn't have many defenders, but there were a few people who drew issue when it came to the precedent being set here. Because generally speaking, to be expelled, well, you have to have been convicted. And Santos wasn't. The concern, whether or not that really was their concern or they were just looking for uh, a way to keep that seat remains to be seen, but the concern is now that the precedent of having to have to be convicted is gone, there's a higher likelihood that there are going to be more attempts to expel people based on less serious behavior. Now, in Santos's case, it's important to remember that there are a lot of members of Congress who were familiar with the details, um, some of which might even be considered victims of his activities, alleged activities. Um, and he did break the, the big rule when it comes to the Republican Party. He messed with the money. When he engaged with donors the way he did, that upset a whole lot of Republicans. So the, the precedent being set aside here, not really surprising. At the same time, it has been set aside. So you can foresee, you can foresee a scenario in which a, a member of Congress says something that is inappropriate and that leading to them being expelled now. Uh, it's a concern that a number of people have had and shared. I, I, I would like to think that the nature of the allegations against Santos is what brought this about. And the, the fact that there were other members in Congress who were aware of the details. We'll see how that plays out. Um, but this little portion of congressional history is going to end up being a footnote, I think, to a lot of other behavior that, as of yet, either hasn't really come to light or it's come to light, but there hasn't been any any formal action. So while right now this seems like it's a big deal, over the course of the next couple of years, it it may seem uh, kind of small potatoes. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.